Some people have tarantula holes in their backyard or their front yard, and they get to know her year after year. Mm -hmm. She's out there hunting. It's a probably about a little bit bigger, bigger than a quarter and lined with webbing. So some some holes don't have that webbing around it. So you, you're like, oh, what's this? What's this? Is a snake or, you know, mm-hmm. rodent or look for that webbing. It's a good signal that you have a... That you have a pet tarantula. You have a pet you tarantula. Yeah. You can and, name her or something. Yeah. yeah. And people do. Yeah. They get yeah. to know their tarantula year after year. And um, they're, they, they are gentle giants. Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of. They eat crickets. They, yeah. They clean up for you, man. Yeah. It's they, like they, bugs. They, they bugs. They eat bugs. They bugs, crickets grasshoppers, anything mm-hmm. coming close that goes across that web. It's like a knock at the door that your fast <laughs> right. food's there. <laughs> right. And they run out and get it, That's come funny. back down. <laughs> Dominoes. Yeah. Or Papa John's in my case. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, all right, let's do this. All right. You want to meet her a little yeah. closer? Yeah, I do. All okay, right. I'm you know, nervous. meeting animals is... What radios mean? <laughs> That's right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Say, don't work with kids or animals, and I uh, don't work with a lot and of I kids. And I do both, and it's I, a really yeah, fun job. It really is a fun job. And so I'm work- picking her up extremely gently, you are. Um, and, see and on the she, here. Huh. you know, they're very, very slow movers. And what do you want me to do? So I just want you to ask some questions first of all, uh-huh. if you have any, so you can get to know her and see her. Yeah. How they old have, is she? Do you know? She is. Um, it's always a guess, and. She's probably eight to ten years old. She looks still looks pretty small, pretty mm-hmm. young, mm-hmm. sprightly girl. <laughs> right. And I know that she's a girl because of her one of one of the indications is her coloration. She's really light colored. Yeah. And the males are really really dark, almost black color. Oh wow. Okay. So if a tarantula looks like they've gotten highlights, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the girl. But she also has this nice big abdomen right here. Spending time at super right cuts. there, and the um the males have a very very tiny abdomen. Uh, so that is where she. Okay, she's you know. looking at me funny with those eight eyes. Yeah, she's uh-huh. <laughs> she's checking things out. Now I, I know I've because I've seen it close up with the tarantulas that I've owned. I've actually owned a few, and their fangs actually look like physically look like needles, like hypodermic needles. Mm-hmm. That's really what they look, and that's yeah. really what they are. Yeah, they are, and well. You know, these were invented before that hypodermic needle. Right. And that's where they got the idea. How to uh. inject venom. You're going to look at animals that do that on a regular mm-hmm. basis. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you look at the proboscis of a mosquito, it looks just like a needle Crazy. with that little divot taken out of oh, it. Oh, look at it's that. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Humans, we like to steal. Yeah, we steal. Nature. We steal nature's we ideas. Do. Just the best ideas, though. We do. I know. <laughs> yeah. In my business, it's called plagiarism. <laughs> Um, all right, we're up against the break, so we're gonna. Oh, we, better, okay. we should do what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna let you do a tarantula high five. Okay, cool. And I want you to put your finger up like this, uh-huh. and she is gonna come give you a high five. Uh-huh. Maybe. maybe they usually crawl upwards. Yeah. Oh man, this is good for radio, you guys. It it's is. not working. This is the time where we say <laughs> you guys should watch the video when it's done. You can see yeah. this. Let's oh, see look, if she she's gives got you a high five. Oh, there she is. Did it work? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. She stepped on my thumb, and then she <laughs> high-fived the side of my index finger. What I think that f- counts. What did it feel <laughs> it like? It was very light touch. A very light like, touch. Almost yeah. like nothing. Like very gentle. Very gentle. Yeah. And They're such sweet que- creatures. It's 20. 20. <laughs> <laughs> so a coyote runs 35 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. Roadrunner runs 20. Uh-huh. The cartoon's... I was gonna say. Well, he was carrying a paint bucket and an anvil. That's That's right. That's That's good point. Pulling a piano or something. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Isn't that funny? That's what so many people know about the desert, though. <laughs> right. as, as kid, we, we grew up on those cartoons. I know. Well, a lot of kids that I work with, like they all, still visualize this is what the desert is, and then you don't realize you're in Tucson. You're living in it. Yeah, that's right. This yeah. is your desert. This is the desert, man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, I've been around the country a bit, especially around the West. And this is the coolest desert. Mm-hmm. The Sonoran Desert is the coolest. You mean mm-hmm. most? Awesome, yes. or do you mean temperature? Most awesome. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, you could uh, you could argue Utah's got some pretty nice like arches and things like that. Oh, Utah, yeah. no doubt, is yeah, beautiful. No doubt. But the Sonoran Desert is the most speciose. It's the most diverse. See? So you get right. the most species. Right. You get to see the most things yes. by living here. You get more bang for your buck. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And if you do, if you don't want to wander around the desert all the time and hopefully catch a glimpse of something. 
I don't know, you could go to the Desert Museum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> what that's think? right. I think it's a great what idea to do that. <laughs> There's plenty of opportunities to do that, including in the summertime. We're open on Saturdays till 10 o'clock. Saturdays till 10 o'clock. It's cool summer nights. Mm-hmm. Uh, kicked off l- last Saturday because mm-hmm. we had the uh, Tucson Amateur Astronomy Association in with us, and they did a star party out there. How'd that go? Oh, it went really well. I mean, it's one of our more popular activities that we mm-hmm. have out there. That and just the idea that you're out in the desert at night. You're going to see some creatures that you're not going to see in the daytime. Mm-hmm. Um, that the might vistas, actually be. The, I mean, being able to see the stars out there is yeah. just so beautiful. It's just, I mean, and so having astronomy makes so much sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ray, I just noticed off to my right, there's a coral snake in here. Oh, you just noticed? <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's a coral snake. You brought a coral snake? Uh, no. Oh, my gosh. Did the colors trick you? Uh, well. That's the evolutionary strategy that these snakes have. This yeah. is a milk snake. Uh, milk but snake. But there are lots of snakes with the red, black, white, yellowish colors mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. And obviously, that's a response. So you're not going to mess with the coral snake, that coyote that was getting the urticating hair. <laughs> Yeah, right. It meets a coral snake once, leaves it alone. It sees another red and black snake, leave it alone. Yeah, leave it so alone. It makes mm-hmm. sense. It so, does. but this is actually called a milk snake. Ah, milk snake. And cool. they were named that because they thought that they were drinking milk when from, they lived around barns from chupacabras. Right. Yes. <laughs> oh my. Chupacabra but do you know what milk. else? The barns have a lot of mice and rodents. Yeah. So let's make that, that. connection. There you go. So, so misnomer as a milk snake, it doesn't really drink milk. Correct. It probably just eats mice and like yes, other snakes. Exactly. So it's a constrictor. Yeah, it's a constrictor and it's one of the best uh, cleanup sources we have. Mm-hmm. Totally natural. Yeah, so this mm-hmm. would be my number two snake uh, behind the king snake. King snakes also King snakes amazing. are amazing. They eat rattlesnakes. Yeah, a big king snake can um, eat a baby rattlesnake. Oh. And gopher snakes are also great to have in yes. your yard. So if you have yeah. a snake filling one of those niches yep. and it's there cleaning mm-hmm. up for you and it's having a happy life, keep it because you don't yeah. know who the next neighbor to move in is. You like right. your neighbor, be happy right. with it. <laughs> so I always forget the rhyme. Uh, we worked on it during the break, so I think I have it. <laughs> uh, red touching black, friend of Jack. You told me that one. I forgot that part. Mm-hmm. Red touching yellow, kill a fellow. Yeah. And so and this is black touching is the Yeah, so you can see the these red. bands, these yeah. red touches black. Uh-huh. Um, so this is a friendly Hi one. Hi there. And He's... not that coral snakes aren't unfriendly. Yeah. And they also aren't killers, so that's another misnomer. Right. But in the state of Arizona, this does hold true. This is a non-venomous snake. That's good. Right. Yeah. We like non-venomous snakes. I was hoping, I was thinking maybe you'd bring a rattlesnake, but I knew you weren't going to bring a rattlesnake. <laughs> She can't Surprise, I have one in my pocket. Whoa, <laughs> so amazing. This is so much fun. Do you want to touch the milk I snake? I do, yeah. Hi there, Mr. Milk Snake. I used to have snakes. I had a couple king snakes. I had um, a bull snake. And probably the coolest snake I had, uh, this was later, I had a green snake. I, I, oh yeah, mm-hmm. I, that and so yeah, I had an aquarium mm-hmm. and I had some water. You know, part of it was water, and then the rest was terrarium stuff. Oh, oh hi there. Hi he likes me, and um, <laughs> and I used to feed him goldfish. He would eat. He would eat the goldfish in the water part. Yeah, was, a lot of snakes are good hunters in the water. He was my coolest snake, but the king snakes were pretty awesome too. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Pretty he's, friendly. He is. <laughs> he's crawling under my hand. I think it's smelling you. They flick their tongue in and out like that. Oh, yeah. And the tongue is forked at the end. Uh-huh. So it's getting different information on the left part versus the right part of that fork. So it helps to tell direction. So if I owned a rodent, they would they would really like me. They'd pro- You would probably yeah. smell very good. Yeah. Yeah. And they're figuring out if you're prey or if, predator. <laughs> right. Or yes. Completely benign. Yeah, I'm pretty. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm benign. Which, you yeah, are. It um, seems they're very comfortable. Kind of going for that dark spot. Yeah, it's using some my, probably some heat, maybe using, a little bit of heat. Yeah, yeah there you go. Here. Right, uh-huh. right. Going for some heat. Well, if this, I didn't know I was going to be smelled by a snake today, so I'm glad I showered. <laughs> <laughs> so glad. Almost out of deodorant, but that, well, now it's it your turn to out. smell the snake. Yeah, oh, <laughs> great, great. Always fun, you guys. We didn't even get to. Um, I'll give you one more minute. Sorry, Chris. Chris just called in. He's our next segment, um, but I'll give you one more minute. Okay. Um, 
the education stuff that you do. What do you? Where do you go? Where, what do you do? How we do you do, do it? We do a lot of outreach. So you call the Desert Museum. You're yeah. a teacher. You're a community member. You can get on our website and you can look for outreach education. And uh-huh. we have vans. They're <laughs> really well marked because there are animals all over them on yeah. the outside. And we will pack up some. We will come to your school. We'll do a really fun, engaging educational show. And if you are a teacher and you said, well, I'd rather do a field trip to the Desert Museum, you can add on experiences like that oh, as cool. well. Oh, right. So we are all over the community, or we have classrooms there, and, you know, pick your own package. Okay. And if you have a radio show, they'll bring us. We'll come to you, too. Come to you, <laughs> snake, tarantula, whatever you want. All right, Betsy, Catherine, desertmuseum.org. Thank you both so much. Hey, thanks so thanks much for Mike. having us. Appreciate it. Cool summer nights. Saturday nights starting last week, so going all through the summer out there at the Desert Museum.